Well, this was amazing. The fish just jumps in on the lure. Hello, everyone. This is Ricardo de Vue. Today I'm testing the Pure Lure Silver Feather and I've paired with the Handing Magic L um, because the last time I tested this rod uh, it bended a little bit too much and the line started to hit the blank and I want to give it a second try with a bit more of drag play. So with that in mind I will start fishing. The creek is flooded. We had a lot of rain on the past few days and um, I will see if I can make something happen I yet to see any fish on the creek I'm starting with a Berkeley deep fry because it's from the my selection of lures it's the one that deals better with heavy current and didn't see any fish yet Maybe they all got washed away, so no fish whatsoever in here. And I went up and down the creek, but on the beginning of the morning no fish to be found, so I went and do some testing. So let's see the casting ability of this reel. Not bad for maximum brakes. Dial the brakes in. So six now, I was on eight. Now I'm going on four. Nice distance. Now I'm going on two. And bird's nest. And I quickly fixed the bird's nest because my stupidity on the leader knot and resumed casting. So no problem no real problems and it casts further than the valiant eagle with the same amount of brakes and i didn't even mess with the side to side spool tension knob ah, it seems that today will be a hard day to catch one Yes, I passed from a snag to a ultra snag. So, after the break off, I'm switching for my usual stuff when the water gets a bit murkier and heavier. So I have a small swivel, I think it's triple zero size. And as usual, I'm using a fly snap to hold my lure. I'm throwing a, a fan favorite because I saw two big fish in here hiding on the sides. But as you can see by the speed up on the video, the fish didn't want anything with me. So I decided to pack my bag up and go upstream and try the waterfall for the first time sorry for the sound quality on this clip i couldn't manage to get it any better That was amazing! The fish just jumped in on the lure! It's the first... Whoa! I missed it! No! Ah, I missed it! I don't know if the camera catch, but it was some weird shit! I never saw this!
Now it will never happen again. Depression is settling in. But I'm stubborn as hell and if I made something happen one time, I can make it happen twice. So even though I was not with a lot of expectations, I continued to cast on the same place that we have a lot of plant growing in. On just on the tip of the white water and waited for something to happen. Let's try to take the head out of the water. Whoa, 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 Possibly a PB. Look at this guy. Uh, this guy, I don't know what it is, if someone can help me identify this fish because it just looks like a normal chub but it's a little bit more yellow and it has a very very weird mouth, it has like a trout mouth, uh, no lips, uh, very very weird fish. So maybe a PB because if it's not a chub it's a 25 centimeter fish that I never saw and never caught but it's this kind the pure lure silver feather handled the fish with no problems even helped the magic ending L uh, uh, manage the fish better than the last time so overall I'm satisfied that I didn't skank uh, because this was like almost or maybe already one hour in uh, I already had rain poured on me so uh, I was very very satisfied with this result and I continue to fish for a couple more minutes uh, until I call it a day because I saw a couple more fish right there on the tip of the white water near the grass so I soldier on okay, it's coming, it's coming. It's coming. I maybe have to kick the f***er because I don't know if it has any diseases so the guy disappeared and I went about my life again changing lures, trying some Candy lure. This is a Letoyo. The, it's the egg nuts. It come with a bonus. I just want one, but it come the uh, sushi flavor and the ice cream flavors all at the same time. I'm just on my life, trying to catch some more fish, relaxing because I already has a, the pressure off of catching one. Just using my fly snap to put my my lure in and this was the blast of the day the casting with this uh, lure this is uh, 2.6 2.5 grams look, look 
at him swimming. And the minx appears again. And it seems that I'm not the only fat guy around. The guy had a eh, bit of eh. trouble going through the net. And he doesn't care. He just passed through me with no cares. Uh, at least it went on the other side of the net. Oh, he took everything I worked for, mother. But continuing with the review of the reel. So the first impressions, I know there's a process of breaking it in, uh, at least that was what I was told, but I had no really hard time throwing this small weight lure. I know it's not small, but this is the type of weight, so under 3 grams that just starts to mess with every other cheap BFS reel. And in here I just apply a little bit more force and cast this sucker just on the tip of the white water just a, a bit of flick and it was there no really hard problems for someone like me that you know by now that doesn't have a lot of experience with casting gear so the rest of the day so the next 10 minutes is just this me flicking the lure just where i want it so very very accurate i think this is a combination of how good the rod is for the price point and how good the reel is for the price point so i think with the discounts uh, this combo can go just as low as 120 dollars which is very 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 good value so now i will just skip to myself talking on the outro of the video guys this is the end of the session today i was fishing with a pure lure silver feather i had a blast first hour sucked, I only saw two fish on the whole creek, but then I decided to go on the waterfall right there, on the left side, and I had a huge blow up on a chub that just smashed my lure, but I couldn't hook it or keep the hook on it, and after that I just went and tried it again, throwing the, my lure just on the end of the white water on the opposite side of the creek. And I landed a 35 centimeter chub. The pure lure silver feather had no problems dealing with the fish. It tilled better than the Valiant Eagle. So even though it's the same rod that I tested, the black Valiant Eagle, it, it, it handled the fish better. I can tell you that. The drag worked better than, the, than on the black Valiant Eagle. Also, you have a better feel if you're palming the wheel of the crank working so you have the vibration of the crank feels way better on the body of this reel than, than on the black valiant eagle even though they are similar reels and i say similar they look the same if you look at the chassis there, there, there are small differences this one doesn't over break as much and the other thing that some people told me it's this is a bit stiff out of the box and it's stiff and even being stiff it's better than the valiant eagle so if you are on the 100 dollar price point i know this now probably it's priced at 155 dollars or euros but if you get it on a choice day they will put it at 116 and if you put the store coupon which is five dollars the AliExpress discount on choice day would should be around eight dollars for uh, over sixty nine dollar uh, purchase, and you put your coins that you have on AliExpress, which will give you also a two percent discount. This will run you just shy of one hundred dollars, so ninety seven ninety eight, which is usually the price of the Valiant Eagle two, and this is better. Even if it doesn't freeze pull as good as the Valiant Eagle because this doesn't freeze pull just at least mine out of the box doesn't freeze pull but the lures come out of it that's what matters so I was I was throwing I think at some point 2.5 grams with ease and the other thing that you can do with this wheel even me that doesn't have a lot of experience with casting and even worse with BFS you can thumb this wheel very very nicely so I was 
on there throwing my lure on the white water on the opposite bank and when the lure was going past the spot I and I was overing my thumb over here the ergonomics are amazing so I was just with my thumb resting in here I just hit the spool the lure stopped on a dime you have no problems the only bird nest that I uh, had today really was user error so I had a big leader tied in because I thought that the water would be clearer even though it was flooded the last time I came here I thought it would even though it was flooded the water was still clear so I had a huge leader and the um, Albright knot got caught on the guide of the rod and it just burn nested even though I had 10.4 p braid I had no problems taking out the it, it took me like two minutes to take out the a huge mess that I had on the spool the other thing the 0.4 p braid never went uh, over the spool inside of the uh, around the shaft so that's also a positive on the the line eagle it happened to me I think twice I had a burn nest and it just the line just went over the spool on the around the shaft and for me this is it this is the I will not say my favorite reel but because I really have a fun place on my heart for the sambo uh, so for the $100 price point for BFS this is it this is the reel the pure lure silver feather $50 you get the solo king Acura pro even lower than that uh, if you get it on a choice day $100 is this and we'll see by the end of the year if I start making many uh, money on YouTube. Maybe I get <laughs> the Comorant to deduct the taxes. But until then, keep helping me watching the videos using my affiliate links to buy stuff if you really want the stuff and if you really want to help me. And I will see you guys next time.